2017 has been a difficult year for Japan. Uh, China has been increasingly aggressive in claiming the East China Sea. North Korea launched missiles all around their country. And now this. President Trump has kicked off a five-nation tour of Asia with a visit to Japan. While here in Japan, the president has talked about trade, urging Japanese businesses to do more to sell goods and make goods inside the United States. They also spent uh, much of their time discussing the North Korean threat. There has never been such a close relationship between the leaders of two countries, these two countries, Japan and the United States. Milani and I are deeply grateful for the warm welcome we've received in your remarkable country. <laughs> Poor Japan, man. Once again, they have to deal with an out-of-control monster with tiny hands. <laughs> now... <laughs> now, the reason Japan needs Trump <laughs> is because Japan needs America. For the last 70 years, Japan has relied on the U.S. for military protection because something happened to Japan's military. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> President Trump got there this weekend, and judging from the itinerary, the Japanese have clearly been stalking Trump's Pinterest. The two leaders lunched on hamburgers, played nine holes of golf, and fed koi fish at the Akasaka Palace. In a symbol of his tight relationship with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the two leaders met at a golf club. Signing hats made for the occasion, Donald and Shinzo make alliance even greater. Oh, that's so cute. Donald and Shinzo have commemorative hats? Yeah, it looks less like a diplomatic souvenir and more like a novelty gift from a bachelorette party. That's what it looks like. I'm surprised it didn't have a penis sticking out of it. That's all that was missing. And by the way, by the way, how did they go from make America great again to Donald and Shinzo make alliance even greater? Is this one of those awkward Japanese translation things that they always do? You know, it's the same way Fast and the Furious was released in Japan as the Angry Car Zoom at Speed XS. <laughs> starring Vin Diesel and crazy Instagram Tyrese. <laughs> now, of course, of course, the presence of the United States didn't fly all the way to Japan just to play golf and eat hamburgers. Uh, which, by the way, is what he already does in America all the time. <laughs> Though it is, like, he's in... Japan and he's eating hamburgers? Trump is the kind of tourist who travels to an exotic land but still goes to their McDonald's. <laughs> you know, folks, it's so different here. In my country, I order a Big Mac and fries. <laughs> but over here, I have to order a Big Mac and fries. <laughs> but, but, Trump wasn't just there for the golf and burgers. He was also there to tell Japan Who's boss? You've built one of the world's most powerful economies. I don't know if it's as good as ours. I think not. Okay? And we're going to try and keep it that way. But you'll be second. You know, someone should tell Donald Trump to always stop speaking after his first sentence. <laughs> because every time, that's where it goes wrong. I'm sorry about the death of your husband, but he knew what he signed up for. <laughs> the Charlottesville Nazis were bad, but there were some very fine people. <laughs> I have the utmost respect for mothers. When women have babies, their boobs get real big. <laughs> it's always the second line. And Japan's prime minister didn't even flinch when Trump basically dissed him into number two. But I, I guess that's because this isn't the first time that Trump's mouth has brought great shame to his people. Donald Trump, according to the, the, uh, the Japan Times newspaper, made comments that he couldn't understand why a country of samurai warriors didn't shoot down North Korean missiles. You know, I, I, uh, I don't know what's worse, that Trump thinks Japan still has samurai, <laughs> or that he thinks samurai warriors were trained in missile defense. <laughs> I feel like... Trump only knows two things about Japan, and neither of them is right. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be shocked if tomorrow Trump said, I don't understand how the same people who can catch shrimp in their hats at Benihana can't intercept a missile, folks. <laughs> so, that was part one of Trump's trip to Asia. Tomorrow, he heads to South Korea, where he will probably shove chopsticks up his nose and pretend that he's a walrus. 